Okay, quick update on the R2 build. Um, I'm using a 3D printer where I can here. Uh, some pieces um, that aren't structurally important, like this is uh, part of one of the horseshoes for the top of the legs. Um, I'm doing it out of 3D printing, so I'm trying to save my hands. My uh, my <laughs> my arthritis is really taking a pounding. It's all this um, sanding and cutting styrene with uh, with a sharpie and uh, steel rule, that sort of stuff. So it's it's taking its toll a bit. So I'm going to try and 3D print where I can. Uh, some parts I might even I've got the sort of 2D drawings. Um, what I might do is. Um, try and recreate those in 3D in uh, 1, 2, 3D design and again print what I can to save my my joints uh, anyway so <clears throat> so that's what's going up up here with the 3D printer I'll show you what else is going on around the house okay um, R2's frame <clears throat> I said a little bit more done I don't know if I showed you this before so I'll just very quickly recap so the large data ports in um, I've changed the Rockler bearing or the Lazy Susan so it actually fits inside the dome now so the dome fits right at the top of the data port <clears throat> whereas before you had that in between as well which was meant that the head was about six to seven millimeters too high and wouldn't have looked right um, and the other bear the other thing now that Lazy Susan was about 25 quid off of eBay this one was nearly 80 quid um, direct from a manufacturer but it's it's worlds apart I mean the movement is so much nicer so much neater there's no wobble as it spins or virtually no wobble as it spins it's really nice and square uh, and just works beautifully and that's it all sits up in there so that's that done um, He's got sound effects now, I don't know if you've seen that, so I'll give you a quick demo. The board's only just held on with tape at the moment. Uh, let's get everything switched on. I think you've seen the data lights before. Um, I just need to do something like okay. this. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I just had to adjust the voltage. I've got a, a variable voltage regulator there but the trouble is every time I move it the little variable pot moves so it gives up too much too much voltage and upsets the speakers um, <clears throat> so basically there's a sound card in there there's the regulators dropping the 12 volts down to 5 volts for the speakers and I've mounted some Logitech speakers inside um, so basically now I've got a little remote control And that's how it works. It triggers one of about 20 sounds I've got on there. So for every press, I get the next sound. Some of them are short, some are a bit long. And I can turn the volume up, that's a bit quiet at the moment, so if I can just reach in there, that should be a bit louder. but it looks like I'm not going to be able to trust that voltage regulator because it keeps changing and I don't want to blow the speakers and have to change them every now and again <laughs> and that's his little laugh that he does okay so I'm going to shut that down for now and I'll show you properly once that's done I, I daren't run that too long on the voltage regulator because as I, like I say it keeps going up it can supply anything up to about nine volts and the speakers only want five so uh, I don't want to zap them um, that's BB's frame by the way um, <clears throat> can't show you too much because uh, the drawings haven't been released it won't be for another week or two because I've been doing some helping with some of the beta testing so um, more on that in the video to follow so anyway so there's our two in here now outside 
in the shed what I've been doing is I've been cutting out some of these plans and this is what's killing my joints unfortunately um, cutting those out and I've been transferring those to a three millimeter styrene sheet this is how the legs are coming on I'm just getting some primer on them and filling all the little imperfections and things but both angles are done now um, so uh, they're coming on uh, this is the third ankle so these these are these little patterns that I just showed you in the kitchen so basically I'm transferring them sticking them on some three mil styrene sheet and then using steel rule and a very sharp knife to cut them and then <clears throat> this is going to be the pivot where the center foot is going to rest um, so I'm using that to hold them together as I start to glue them so there's going to be eight of those glued together and it's going to be something like this and then it's going to be built up to form the shape that we all know um, something like that and the final one once it's finished will look something like that shows you how it's going to attach to the bottom of the the bodywork there you go so that's what it's going to look like when it's finished so that's the third ankle the curves are the interesting bits um, you probably remember me doing them on these I have done two already I've just got one more to go and that's, <clears throat> and that's a 3D printer as I say to try and save my joints speaking of 3D printing these are 3D printed rocket booster covers uh, to go down their legs um, the only reason they're yellow is because I've tried some um, filler primer can't show you the tin I've just thrown it out because I've used the last of it but uh, the idea is it's quite a thick primer and it will sit in all the little grooves and help fill the imperfections so that's the idea so I'll let you know how that goes but that's, again that's just to try and save um, uh, say for the manual side which is which I'm struggling with a little with the arthritis but there we go um, so yeah so that's it pretty much so I'm gonna get these uh, well I've done two I've got six more of these layers to glue together uh, and what I'm doing is as, as that's setting I'm putting some primer on the legs and then as the legs are driving I'm drying I'm coming back and doing a bit more of this and so on and so forth so I'm sort of switching from one to the other um, that's about it for now, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, this is how I'm building up this um, <clears throat> centre ankle. Once all the pieces are cut, I'm using some pretty strong uh, Gorilla Super Glue. It's cyanoacrylate, but it's the gel rather than the liquid. And I'm putting quite a generous amount on each face, cleaning both faces, giving them a sand, and that's just going to go straight onto that. And the bolt, the 6mm bolt, is going to uh, help keep it all together and then obviously I shall sand and flatten all the edges and make it all nice and square so um, there we go we're about uh, what are we we're one two three four in out of eight so we're halfway okay and then once they're glued just clamping them for a good five or ten minutes it doesn't need a lot that long super glue is fairly instant but um, I'm, I'm doing that as I'm going out and doing another coat of primer on the legs so uh, trying to make the most of the time Okay, right then, so that's the centre angle, that's the first eight sheets all glued together and they're setting. So I'm just going to leave that for a little while. Um, the legs are coming on. They're all white now. I still uh, I need to get some more, more putty to finish off. Things like the recesses aren't very neat, so there's still a bit of working to do, a bit of building up to do there. But generally, Generally, they're um, they're coming on. Now I think the weather's going to turn on me, so I may not get more printing. Uh, sorry, painting done out here. Uh, but um, well, we'll see. The sun was out, so I thought, well, it's the ideal time to make some painting progress. So we'll see what happens. Okay, after all those um, sections are laminated together that's what we've got so that's the the, the main chunk for the center <clears throat> the center run ankle lots of filling to do still still pretty rough but um, gives you an idea Sorry about the noise the winds getting up and it's blowing my shed doors around so um, okay so now I'm gonna start the 
cross pieces <clears throat> these are the supports that are going to hold up the outer curves and radiuses so um, that's the next bit I'm going to make a start on that and go grab some lunch I'll see you later okay it's a bit rough looking but that is the basics of the center ankle or will be once it's all dry and glued and everything a uh, lot of tidying up work to do um, <clears throat> over here we've got the legs that's the 3D printed shoulder which I'm now starting to sand and smooth and fill in joints and gaps and things um, I'm out of um, I'm out of putty so uh, I need to get some more tomorrow um, but the two legs are coming on quite well anyway I think that okay so now the legs are mostly done um, I've got them pretty much the right shape uh, the uh, booster covers are on there as well now these are just uh, basically the, the legs are just painted with primer um, as is the center angle which I can just show you under there uh, they're still a little bit rough they're just sort of sanded and uh, and you know painted to a primer stage um, it would be very nice to go and just finish them off completely I've put a little bit of the what might be the top coat on the the leg covers there but um, there's really no point in going too mad on the finish now because there's still so much mechanical stuff to do he's going to get moved about and there's going to be so much going on that he's probably going to get scraped and dinged and dented and things so I'm going to kind of get into this sort of finish for now and then just carry on um, building him up effectively um, and then we'll do some final painting because I've you know I, I got impatient before I started doing some of the paint and uh, it's all very well but it's just going to come off by the time he's finished I'll have to repaint him again so um, <clears throat> it's probably a bit silly to go too too crazy on the final finish for now so so anyway, so these are the legs as they are. So this is the 3D printed piece, which is this horseshoe shape. That's 3D printed as well, as are the, the little white parts at the bottom. Um, this is all styrene down. The legs were actually made of MDF, but then I 3D printed all the supports inside. Um, so it's a bit of a mixture of materials. But uh, it seems really strong. He's, he's, he's very sturdy, he doesn't go anywhere. He's heavy, but uh, doesn't seem to be a problem at the moment. So. I've taken all the electronics out at the moment just to, to keep it all safe while I'm doing the the, the more messy work. But um, so there we go. So I've got some bits and pieces being printed for in here. I'm 3D printing these little bits of detail. Um, I've got a. I think these ones I've actually got. I've got some aluminium ones coming in. So I thought we'd have some some quite nice high quality detail on it as well. Um, had a bit of problem with the printer um, nozzles keep getting blocked I mean I've probably done a year's worth of printing in two months because um, of BB there um, and R2 and all the other stuff I've been doing um, I'll show you what's going on out here as well this is what happens when the 3D printing doesn't go so well this would, this would have been the tube that runs down his leg which from that would normally be sort of chrome silver stainless steel type effect but as you can see I was having a problem with the printer it's really quite messy basically the the filament lines were getting further and further apart as the nozzle was blocking um, and you end up with visible gaps which are no good and the thing is really quite well that's that's fairly strong but now yeah, you can see that 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 end piece there is just just no good at all the, the strands are almost almost separate um, so Although it started off looking quite good, uh, it's no good. So, and I think I've got some more bits somewhere. Ah, oh, yeah, this was this worked quite well. This is um, part of the leg. This is the little leg tubes. So it comes in three pieces. And this was this was the last thing I three D printed before I started getting this problem. So that sits on the middle of the ankle. Um, the centre bit is blue. The outer bit there is uh, to be silver and they just sit on the sit on the ankles you may recognize them it's funny actually because because of the um, the inlay it looks very much like the communicator they had the 3po and r2 were using in a new hope when uh, 
all our heroes were getting uh, squished in the in the trash compactor. I don't know if you remember. It's probably nothing like it actually, but just from here, it just reminded me of it. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for this video. So um, I'll get some more work done, um, both with the 3D printed parts and. Uh, I think the next stage is going to be starting to um, cut up some of the um, uh, the pieces for the feet. As he's, he's standing on his ankles, he needs some feet now. So, um, I think that's really about it for now. There'll be another video coming up on BB soon, but because I've been doing some beta testing, until the parts are all released, I can't really show too much of him. So, um, so it's really just R2 for now. And... Uh, that's about it, so from uh, R2 and I, we'll see you next time.